My name is Neil Barnes, I'm the vicar at Holy Trinity Church. Holy Trinity is about 700 years old, so it's been part of Hull for a long, long time. It was built by the people, for the people, on a huge scale, so it's England's largest parish church by area. And it's just mind-boggling to think what kind of things have happened in this church over the years, the people that have come, happy times, difficult times, obviously week by week for worship and other events as well. Holy Trinity is clearly open for worship, particularly on Sundays, but it's open almost every day of the year and we're very keen that people feel they can come into this place whether they feel religious or not, if they want a place where they want to be quiet, where they want to come and have a look at the wonderful architecture and the heritage, if they want to come and uh, enjoy the cultural activities that go on here and special events. I am Reverend Matt Woodcock and I am the Pioneer Minister at Holy Trinity Parish Church in Hull. Well, as the Pioneer Minister at Holy Trinity, my job is to think differently, to think of, of ways in which we can engage with the wider community. So I come up with all kinds of crazy ideas. Some go really well and some go really badly. <laughs> but we've had uh, music festivals in here, we've had a fashion show, we recently um, had a beer festival where we had thousands of people coming through the door for the first time. We believe in living life to the full and we don't just believe in being a, a place of, of sort of seriousness and, and stuff. We, we believe in, in being a place of joy and being a place of vibrant activity. And what we offer is obviously um, exploring the Christian faith, but aside from that, we offer just a place of, of, um, of comfort, hopefully, uh, an ear for people to talk, um, somewhere where they can just sit and reflect and, and find a sense of calm in their lives. And so certainly our, our doors are always open. My starting point, with people that have mental health problems is that in the Bible we see that uh, God treats people as a, as a whole person, body, mind and spirit, and that's part of the way we're made. And so a, an issue in one area is gonna affect other areas. But above all, they are a person. You know, they're not defined by their illness. I think that's the starting point. What I find with mental health is that a lot of people come in a beautiful building like this and find a sense of calm and peace and tranquility because people's lives these days are just 100 miles an hour frenetic pace and I certainly it's been my experience since I've been here that people are desperate for a sense of calm in their lives and they'll often come and speak to people like me and come in a building like this to talk about how they're feeling and actually what they are experiencing is a mental health issue you know, it might be, a, might be stress or it might be depression. And so we play a big part, I think, as the church to help people with that and raise awareness about that. Uh, Jesus respected everyone who came to him, treated them as a human being. So however someone presents, uh, we're very tempted to judge them by what they look like and how they come across. Uh, I think actually what we do is we simply welcome them and, and um, give them the respect and dignity and esteem of saying, you know, come and, and, and chat, come and share, have a cup of tea, have a coffee. I'm Irene Wilson and I'm a curate at Holy Trinity Church. Working at Holy Trinity involves many different things, but one of the things is working with the homeless for many, many different situations that they're in, whether it's through uh, misuse of drugs and alcohol or even just the fact of living on the streets for a, and living that way of life. Many, many um, end up with mental health problems even if they didn't have them before. Sometimes um, they just need that reassurance of being somewhere where they're with people who actually show interest in them, care. And sometimes it's just getting out of that cold and coming in and having a bit of comfort for half an hour. So, but we never turn away. The chapel's always open when the church is open and we do get people who do come in there and people with um, mental health issues who just want that peace and that calm. I'm very happy to support wholeheartedly the Time to Change Hull campaign. I, th I think the, anything that helps to bring mental health issues into a, a constructive dialogue, a place where people feel that it's not some kind of buried, stigmatised issue, but it's actually an illness like any other illness that, that needs treating and, um, and treating properly. So I'm very keen and, and happy indeed that this is being an issue which has been raised in, in many different ways through this campaign. For me, charities like the One in Four campaign um, 
is wonderful because it raises this awareness and takes away the stigma of mental health, which has been a big issue for a number of years in this country. I'm absolutely addicted to social media. I'm constantly on Twitter and I follow um, the One in Four campaign um, Twitter account, which is at One in Four of Us. And it's a brilliant way just to stay engaged with what's happening with the charity and what's happening with the campaign. And just to sort of provide a, an outlet for people to spread awareness about this, about this campaign. And we're on Twitter too. I've, I've got a personal one called at Rev Matt Woody. And we have a, a Twitter account for the church, which is at Holy Trinity Hull. So follow us, It'd be great to hear from you.